if we, you wanna believe that never love you, okay, believe that never love you. If you wanna believe that using you, believe that using you. But even now to the end, you don't believe nothing, that's it. You know what you did, Pedro. You know what you did. You know what you did. If you had this, everything to make it you- You know what you did, Pedro. Um, so I understand you guys are selling the house. You are unfortunately getting divorced. We know. Oh, we, we're we, already we divorced. We are already divorced. divorced. Yes. Okay. Thanks, okay. God. Okay. So you are ready to wash your hands of this house. Uh -huh. yeah, I Quick split. After not seeing him for nine months, he's been out of sight and out of mind. But seeing him. Um, really was just a reminder of how badly I was treated. And the moment that I sat down, I felt like I made a mistake to show up and grace somebody with my presence who has treated me so bad and evil and just disregard for me like I was trash. So I understand you've had it for um, two years, bought in January 2021 for 290 as a five, three and a half, and you have around 2,600 square feet. I would really put you in a 425, 435 range oh. as a list price. Um, and knowing you bought it for 290, I think that would still give you guys a good profit to pay off the rest of your loan. And 6% um, commission um, would be standard. And almost like 6% is gonna be, how much 6% is gonna be almost like, for total commission, let me see, 425, 40.6, no, 0, 06. Yeah, it's like almost mm -hmm. 25,000 commission, yeah. I can sell the house for myself, you know, I can sell the house for me, you know and say, get more money for us, but um, she, she was available t to do that. Well, I understand with, you know, divorce, want to make sure you have a neutral third party. Everyone's... Everything was already discussed yeah. and decided upon when we signed our divorce documents. So that's what we're going to do. I'm, I'm Switzerland. Yes. I will be here to... <laughs> Be on both your sides <laughs> through this process. And are you um, willing to pay any of the closing costs, or do you want that to be? Sure. I mean, whatever's quickest and easiest. Right. Well, great. I wish it depends. See, the closing costs, they have to put more money on top. Right. Well, we'll find a good balance and make sure you're happy with whatever you're walking away with. All right. And something else, I need to go to the house and get my things from the house. My, sh my chair, my tables. I'm so, did you hear something? <laughs> um, I'll let you guys handle that one. Pedro mentions picking up his gaming chair. It's his favorite gaming chair. But according to the terms in the divorce, everything inside the house, all of the furnishings, belong to me, and they're mine now. So there's no chance he's getting that gaming chair. Well, it was nice talking to you guys. Yeah, nice to talk to you as well. Thank you both so much for your time, and I'm excited. She wants to sell the house for cheap. She wants to get a real estate agent, you know, to take a commission from us. It's like a $25,000 only commission. That's not believable. Like, she doesn't have her mind right right now. We can save that money if she let me sell the house. As to see her in the Rialto meeting, I feel a little bit sad for her because she's still with that childish behavior. And they want to tell her, like, hey, yo, you have to wake up. Like, that's an asset that we built together. It's my money there, too. Because you want to burn your past, that doesn't mean that you want to burn my asset with it. And also, I'm, I'm very annoyed that Chantel 
sold my share, and she been very about it. Hello, Tantel? Hi. Hi. What do you want? Um, we can save so much money if you let me sell the house. Well, I don't trust you to let me money with me when you get the commission, and I also don't trust you to do it in a, a legal way. You know, trust it, okay, because in the end, it's my money, it's your money. Chantel jealousy and distrust, that was all the reason, you know, that we separate apart. Because she said, oh my God, you hang out too much at work, you do too much things. But I never mistrust her, uh, like, when she went outside, party, do things with her friends, drunk. I never did. Chantel's super jealous woman. She always was jealous, like, all the time. I know that you want to talk to me, I don't want to talk to you, but where's my chair? The chair's gone. I love that chair. You love that chair more than you ever could have loved me, that's for sure. Uh, that's both, you know. I think so, I love the chair and you equally. Yeah. Well, the chair's gone. Okay, my love is gone too. She knows how much love I have for that share, and she don't care. For Chantel, you only expect a child to be her. She haven't matured yet to be, you know, like, like a real woman. Children are self-centered, like a Chantel, because she only put herself first and try to get that kind of reaction all the time. Like, she never going to grow. Chantel? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. You were so petty to try to get, excuse me, to try to get the point that you want to get me the poor, and try to the point that you want to ruin my life, and try to the point that you will ruin my career. And you know, that's a spare. Let me tell you something. Evil never wins. What the hell do you want calling my phone right now? What the hell? Why the you call me to ruin my day? Yeah, because I, you, know, you don't like to listen to the truth sometimes. Do you want to sell this house or not? Hey, I'm not petty like you. If you try to, excuse me, I'm not, hey, excuse me, I'm not petty like you. You know what, I'm not gonna waste any of my air talking to you because you're not listening to me. Oh, yeah, I... That freaking bull You guys, what happened? Oh, that's Karima. Well, this is what he just posted today. <laughs> I knew something was up. I knew it, I knew it. When I see that picture of Pedro and Karima, I just seethe on the inside. And it just stirs up so many emotions and anger that I had during our marriage because he always promised me that there was nothing between them. And now this picture's popping up on my phone. Chantel, he posted that yes, today? Yes, today. Well, how does that make you feel? I can't deny that it does hurt. I know, I'm sorry, that. and I could tell that, I could tell. Are you okay? I'm gonna give you a hug, baby. This entire time, it's been a suspicion of mine throughout our marriage. And now, to find out that he's reunited with her, it makes me feel like this was his plan, to divorce me and be reunited with Karima. It makes me feel like he stabbed me in the back and has been lying to me for seven years. One thing we don't do, we don't mess around with none of this stuff. And that back to where it came from. It came from hell, it's going back to hell. Oh my God. I knew they were witches. I knew it. This is just further proof that Pedro and his family were doing spell work on Chantel this entire time. A voodoo Santeria love spell was placed on this child. Because there's no freaking way this girl would have gone 
for over seven years, putting up with that crapola, letting him tell her that she's not pretty, that she's not worthy, do all this other bull There's no way. The audacity that they have to send that to our house. Right, right. It pisses me <laughs> off so much. I want to give them a piece of my mind. I'm going to go to the DR. I don't think you need to go anywhere, Chantel. They send you a box of voodoo you want to go. River, this has been going on too long. I feel like I'm fed up. I don't think it's a smart idea. I'm going to the DR. I told Pedro I know that you cheated on me, and he lies to my face. He, I'm not accepting that apology. I'm not accepting any apology from him because he knows what he did. It's what I wanted so bad from him, but now that I actually have that apology, it's, it's empty words. I don't accept your apology. No, I said that. No, you know? No, don't accept I don't accept that. your hey, apology because I, don't, I, I don't, believe I don't, that you proposed to me I never. Out of no love. Let me tell you something. It was never. Hey. The proposal hey. was me. not Looking. for love. Was for love. No. A hundred percent was for love. No, it wasn't. You never did. I did. Because. With all my heart. You never did. We all my heart. You never did. And listen hey, to me. Excuse me. Listen to me. Oh, no. Because I know it's all a lie now. You know the thing that you gave me to propose to me, that paper? You did not write those words. I got some help to write our proposal because my English was like super bad. I really did love Chantel someone. But that person is no longer sis. You know why our marriage never worked? It never worked because yeah. of you from the why beginning. Why was your reason? Because you tricked me. I not you tricked yeah. me. You have a family of predators. You prey no, on people. Oh, please. yeah. You prey no, on people you because you're pathetic users. Yeah. If you want to if you wanna believe that neighbor love you, okay, believe that neighbor love you. If you want to believe that you send you, believe that you send you. But even now to the end, you don't believe nothing? That's it. You know what you did, Pedro. You know what you did. You know what you did. If you had this, everything to make it you... You know what you did, Pedro. Oh, my God. To cheat on me with people who I've been around, that is just so disrespectful. And you can't apologize for it? What kind of man are you? Hey, look at me. I never cheat on you. Oh, my God. That fish is crazy.